Hey, y'all, countrymen. Uh, I'd like to tell you a little story, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Today's Thursday. Had a good day. Went to church Wednesday night. A uh, friend of mine uh, sold me something for a hundred bucks. I'll get back to that in a little bit. So after church, I'm still drinking on my coffee and my styrofoam cup. I take my wheelchair to church, so I got the joystick in the right hand, coffee cup in the left, go down one street, turn right, go two and a half blocks, there's a police car coming at me, he gets on his loudspeaker and says, sir, pull over, you're not supposed to be drinking and driving. Well, there I am in my wheelchair with a cup of coffee, and I'm acting like I'm trying to put it under my coat, and uh, I pull, I I rolled up to the side of the police car, and it was one of the guys that, when I fell down after I first got down here, he helped me. He uh, helped uh, pick me up and everything, and get me back. Weeble wobble, and uh, he says, "Hey, how you doing?" You know, I said, "I'm doing just fine." He said, "What you drink?" I said, "Coffee." And we started talking a little bit. I said, "Hey, uh, you'll see my new toy." So I reached under my left butt cheek. They pulled out the box of what my friend uh, sold me at church. Got me a big old 45 high point. No big deal. It's got the 8 plus 9 plus 1. 8 plus 1, I believe it is. And uh, it's a nice gun. When they said when they talked about being heavy, this thing is heavy. It weighs over two pounds, and the uh, squeeze on it. Gosh, how am I going to do that? The squeeze on it. You got a, a whole lot of take up, and then you got one snap. Take up, take up, snap. There is an audible reset, but I doubt if you could hear it after you had a 45 go off your face. So you got to snap. I got to win. Just take up, take up, take up, snap. And there's not an audible. There's not an audible reset. It's not nice, gun. It is heavy. It is real heavy. But I wanted to show you this. So, uh... Police officer, he opens the box and starts looking at the gun. He said, damn, he said, that thing is heavy. But uh, that's what happened. I, he said, well, y'all have a good night. He said, I go back to better work. I said, oh, I'm going home. And uh, he went his way and I went that way. But you can actually say I got pulled over for drinking and driving in possession of a firearm. But it was all good with rednecks in, in West Virginia here. Uh, we've got a law you can conceal carry, you can open carry, constitutional carry, and uh, no conceal uh, weapons permit uh, required. You can go ahead and get it. It is recommended, but you don't have to have it. I know several boys on the uh, police department down here, and I've even had a couple of conversations with the police chief. He's a good guy. Uh... That's what I'm doing on a Thursday night. Hope everybody's well. That's the only story I got to tell you this week. So, God bless the country man that's out. If I can do it, anybody can.